Multi-extrusion 3D printing is something that many are interested in. Some want the ability to print with multiple colors, while others are more interested in using things like specialty support material. The AMS system from Bamboo Labs has increased interest in this, but it is limited to their printers, and because it uses just one hot end, there's quite a bit of purge or waste material. Over the years, I've used and tested out a handful of dual extrusion 3D printers using everything from stationary heads, the nozzle rocking system, and IDEX or independent dual extrusion. One of my biggest gripes has always been with calibration. Setting the nozzle offsets is typically done by running a calibration print, taking measurements, and repeating the process to verify your results. Some months ago, I saw a product from Ember Prototypes that was aimed to help with this process. This was something that I was really interested in, and I pre-ordered their calibration camera. Well, the camera has since come in, and I've gone through the calibration process using it. So in today's video, we will touch a little bit more on the traditional calibration method, what the calibration method is like using this camera, and we will go through the process of calibrating the Sovel SV04, which is an IDEX 3D printer, using that camera. So with all that being said, and without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Massive thanks to MicroSwiss for sponsoring today's video. MicroSwiss manufactures hot ends, extruders, and nozzles for over 30 different 3D printer models and is constantly expanding. I've been running their upgrades on a wide range of Creality printers for over two years now and have printed everything from standard PLA to carbon fiber nylon with them. I love that they're based in the US and that all their products are machined in-house. This helps them to maintain the extremely high level of quality that their customers have grown to expect. Another huge perk is that their upgrades are made for specific machines, making them drop-in replacements in most instances. This helps expedite the upgrade process and allows you to get up and running again quickly. Links will be in the description to find out more about the various upgrades they offer or to pick up your own. For those not familiar with multi-tool head 3D printing, let's quickly touch on the Y. With dual extrusion 3D printers or tool changers, you'll have to calibrate the X, Y, and Z offsets of every tool head. The primary reason for this is that if you assemble your own dual or multi-tool 3D printer or you buy it from a factory, due to manufacturing tolerances, those offsets are always going to be slightly different. To have reliable prints, the nozzle from each tool head will need to be as perfectly aligned as possible, and since they are not truly aligned, calibrating those offsets is a must. The Z offset is fairly simple to calibrate, and most 3D printers will have you use either some form of a shim to physically raise one of the tool heads, or in the case of the Sovel SV04, you've got one tool head that can't be raised or lowered in the Z, and the other one has a knob that will allow you to raise or drop the tool head so that you can make sure that these nozzles are exactly aligned. For the X and Y offsets, most 3D printers I've used, including much more expensive ones, will have you run a calibration print. Each manufacturer uses a slightly different model, but the idea is the same. The test print is typically done in PLA, and it will use both tool heads. You'll want to use different colored filaments so that you can easily see the prints clearly. Then using calipers or a metric ruler, you'll need to measure the distance between specified parts in the model for both X and Y. Those are your offsets and are then entered into the printer to be stored. This is the way that the calibration process has been done for years, and although it does work, it is not great. For one, it's not quick. With the SV04 and the comb type test model it ships with, just between the heat up process and the heads swapping, it's about 15 to 20 minutes just to print out that little calibration print. On top of that, you'll often need to run it multiple times. Even using digital calipers, the likelihood of you getting both the X and Y offset perfectly spot on the first time is rare. The process is usually print, measure, enter values, and repeat until you're happy with the results. In the case of the Sovel SV04 that we set up over on livestream, it took us three times to get the X and Y offset values set correctly, which added up to about an hour. This is also on a dual extrusion 3D printer. If you've got something like a tool changer with four or five tool heads, then that calibration time is only going to scale. You'll often want to rerun those calibrations when swapping out the nozzle, doing any significant work on the tool head, and in the case of the SV04, which is a large i3 style printer, even just moving it from one place to another, it's a good idea to verify. This brings us to the Camera Assisted XY Calibration, or CXC, from Ember Prototypes. The CXC is a compact USB camera with four LEDs to light up the nozzle. It has a short focal distance and a manual focus adjustment knob to quickly get the nozzle in focus. The back of the camera housing has a magnet to adhere with spring steel flex plates to hold the camera in place, or they also include adhesive stickers for non-steel build surfaces. The CXC is intended to be used with their calibration software, which brings us to the requirements. 
At the time of recording, in order to use the CXC, you do need a computer running Windows in order to run their calibration tool. I do hope that it ends up making its way over to other operating systems like Mac OS, but as of right now, it is not available. You also need the ability to jog your printer's tool heads in 0.1 increments or finer, and you'll need the ability to update the X and Y offsets, which is typically done from the screen in the firmware. Just about all dual extrusion 3D printers that I've used over the years would have no issues with those requirements, but if it's something that you're looking at, it's at least worth verifying that it will be compatible with your printer. As far as using the CXC, it is a fairly simple process. You start by adhering the camera to your build plate using either the magnet or the adhesive strips, then connect the camera to your computer and open the calibration app. You'll want to choose whether you are calibrating an IDEX, tool changer, or a non-IDEX dual extrusion printer. Then just follow the on-screen prompts. For an IDEX printer like the Sovel SCO4, it will have you raise the tool heads 30 millimeters and jog the left tool head in the X and Y directions until it's right over the camera and perfectly centered with the crosshairs in the software. For the camera, you will need to manually adjust the focus ring to make sure that you get a clear image. You can adjust the exposure from within the software as well as zoom in a couple of times, which is something I highly recommend doing just to ensure that your offsets are going to be as accurate as possible. Once you have the left tool head's nozzle centered with the crosshair fully zoomed in, Enter the absolute coordinates displayed on your printer for that tool head into the software. When you click next to the software, it will tell you to home the left tool head and bring the right tool head to the absolute coordinates that you just wrote down. For most printers, this will be a piece of cake, but the Sovel SV04 has some really silly firmware, and when you swap tool heads from the left to the right in the manual jog menu, it will not let you bring your right tool head anywhere that the left tool head has been without homing the X, Y, and Z of the printer. I spent quite a bit of time playing around with the SV04 trying to find a way around that limitation, and this is my recommended workflow. Place the camera on the right half of the bed and use a piece of tape on the camera's cable to help keep it from moving. Grab your first set of coordinates after jogging the left tool head over the camera and then home the entire printer. The reason why we want the camera on the right side of the bed is to prevent the left tool head from landing on it when it homes using that BL touch or possibly dragging it away. And that little piece of tape is just again to help reinforce the adhesive or the magnet because the bed is also going to be moving to the back when it homes and then shifting forward again. Once the printer is homed from the move menu, we can lift the Z axis 30 millimeters again Choose the right tool head and enter the absolute coordinates from the left tool head. Looking in the software, your right nozzle will not be perfectly aligned, which is expected since the absolute coordinates have no offset. Just like with the left nozzle, you'll move the right nozzle from the printer in 0.1 increments until it's perfectly centered within the crosshair. Then enter the absolute coordinates for the right tool head. When you do, the software will calculate your XY offsets, which you will then enter into your printer. After that, you are good to go. It's still not a bad idea to run a bit of a smaller print just to verify before you send off something huge, but in my testing using the camera fully zoomed in, the XY offsets have been spot on. Once I got around the quirks of the Sovel SV04's firmware, I've been able to grab the XY offsets in under five minutes using the camera, and I haven't had to repeat the process multiple times. This is just a fraction of the time that it takes me using the print and measure method, and moving forward for any dual or multi-head 3D printer, I am absolutely going to be using the CXC to help with speeding up that process. I would love to see something like this added into a firmware in the future, but for now, having it not be tied to any specific printer or any specific firmware does mean that it is a pretty universal device. For those that have a dual or multi-extrusion 3D printer that have been using the print and measure method, and if you're happy with that, there is nothing wrong with sticking to that. However, for $40, which is what I paid for this camera, and the time savings it's already showed me and what I imagine it will save me over the next year or two here, I am very happy to have this tool in my toolbox, and I think that there are lots of other dual and multi-extrusion 3D printer owners out there that feel the same way. And that has been the CXC from Ember Prototypes. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that I was able to answer the majority of your questions. If you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer. As always, if I don't have the answer, I have no problem reaching out to the manufacturer to try to get those answers for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. We make a video every single week, so there's always fresh content coming your way. And if you do want to support the channel furthermore, there are links down below in the description over to our Patreon, where there are some really awesome awards. Huge thank you to all of our existing Patreon supporters. I appreciate each and every one of you for allowing me to come back every single week and spend more time doing what I love, which is making content for you all to enjoy. On that note, this has been Daniel from ModBot. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace, guys.